A brazen attack by Taliban fighters on the presidential palace in Kabul looks certain to undermine efforts to negotiate a peace agreement in Afghanistan. Good morning, I'm Michael Casey. Welcome to the News Hub. With us from Kabul is Wall Street Journal correspondent Nathan Hodge. Thanks for joining us, Nathan. Thank you. So let's go straight to the details. What happened? This is quite uh, a brazen attack. Yeah, it's not unusual for Kabul to uh, wake up to the sound of gunfire and explosions. This happens every so often here. But this attack happened in the very heart of Kabul, in a very fortified area, uh, right around the main gate or one of the gates to the presidential palace. Interestingly enough, uh, the uh, palace had invited journalists the night before to come out for a press event with President Karzai. So there were a number of journalists on the scene, including one of our own, uh, Hassan Amiri, who was there and had to very quickly flee the scene after attackers came and, and started uh, shooting at the, main, at the gate. Um, what, what do we have in terms of casualties? Let's hope not too much. Well, right now, the uh, report that we have is that three Afghan guards were killed, another was wounded, all the attackers were killed. Afghan authorities have uh, usually been very quick to respond to these kinds of attacks, but it did happen right again in a very heavily defended part of Kabul. Uh, and, and that's the most unusual part of this attack. Uh, also interesting that it happened just a week after the Taliban opened their office in Doha, Qatar, as a way of uh, trying to push forward a peace process and finding a venue for peace talks. Now, President Hamid Karzai was not happy with the way that that uh, opening of that office uh, transpired. Um, no doubt this is likely to further uh, push him back away from the prospect of negotiating with the Taliban, I imagine, right? Right. Opening that office was enough of an irritant. It, it really created a major diplomatic headache for the United States, which had the United States, which had helped uh, broker the opening of the office. And there's really a, the the past week has sh showed or underscored how little trust exists between the the warring sides here. Uh, we really haven't heard much of an official reaction from the Afghan government about this. Uh, but clearly, this happening here in the heart of Kabul is is certainly going to have reverber reverberations. Looks like it's going to drag on for a lot longer then. Nathan, thank you very much for your time.